Hi guys, readings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan. In this video lecture session, I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. An example problem is like this. A pentagonal lamina having edges 25 mm is placed on one of its corners on HP such that the surface makes an angle 30 degree with HP and perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. So now to solve this problem, one can go to a command called as a line. With respect to a thickness of 0.13, one can draw the xy line. And after creating or drawing an xy line using the text command, name the respective corner of the line as x and y and above the xy line mention vp as well as hp to represent the first quadrant and then the pentagon of 25 mm sides with corner resting on hp should be constructed for which one has to go to an applications and macros run macro in the macro the inside polygon is available which is available from uh, c drive program files solid edge v19 custom inside polygon and bin and in that bin we have to select the inside polygon open and in the dialog box select the flat length of 25 millimeter and after which the number of sides in the pentagon is 5 and apply relationships and after which press the left click anywhere on the screen so that the pentagon is going to be appeared now the pentagon which has appeared is a side resting select the pentagon change the thickness of the pentagon to 0.5 millimeter and then go to a command called as rotate rotate in such a way that it is going to be a corner resting now select one of the side here and make that line as a vertical now one can see that corner resting pentagon is available and make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 millimeter project each and every corner till it touches the xy line to draw the front view of the lamina in its initial position and after which changing the thickness of a line to 0.5 millimeter one has to complete the front view now the front view has been completed then make use of a smart dimension command show that one of the sides is 25 millimeter make use of a text command and start naming the respective corners now this corner will be named as a b and this is going to be named as uh, c and this corner is going to be named as d and this corner is going to be named as e then accordingly the front view will be named as a dash and b dash e dash and then c dash d dash now after doing the namings next the lamina is inclined to hp first at an angle of 30 degree now select the front view then go to a command called as move move with respect to a dash it should be repositioned on the xy line properly with the help of point on element and then go to a command called as rotate and make sure that a dash is on xy line and c dash c dash is going to be above the xy line at an angle of 30 degree so enter the angle as 30 degree and press the left click now you can see that the lamina is rotated at an angle of 30 degree make use of angle between command show that the angle of the front view with respect to xy line is 30 degree and after showing this draw its top view by drawing the projectors that is from the right extreme corner connect c to c and along with c we have d so let us connect d also then we have uh, b and e the next right extreme corners so connect the respective corners b to b and e to e and then finally the remaining corner a dash is going to be projected to a now make use of the text command then name this corner as a and this corner is going to be b 
and this corner is going to be C and this corner is going to be D and this corner is going to be E. Then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter. Join the line A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, then back to E. Now what can say that the top view is completed as per the given condition. And after which the perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP. What is the meaning of this? The perpendicular bisector has to be constructed for which uh, we will go to the text command. Uh, we will consider this line A and M is going to be a perpendicular bisector and accordingly in the front view it has to be marked as M dash M dash and here also it is going to be M dash and here it is going to be M. Now one can construct a perpendicular bisector then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 so one can construct a perpendicular bisectors and after drawing the perpendicular bisectors one can measure these lengths now this length is measuring as 38.47 uh, and this length is measuring as 33.32 and now the perpendicular bisector with the corner which the laminar rest appears to be inclined at now the length of the line is getting reduced and the inclination given is called as the apparent angle that means the apparent length has to be directly projected on a apparent angle henceforth one need not to construct an apparent angle because 30 degree to VP is not a true angle because it is stated as appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP henceforth whatever the line AM the apparent length is there will be straight away constructed on a apparent angle beta so make use of a line command with respect to uh, thickness as 0 0.13 one can draw a constructional line whose angle is supposed to be set as 30 degree so make use of an angle between commands set the angle as 30 degree and after drawing it for a 30 degree select now these dimensions are not necessary since it is a, a direct problem now one can select the top view and after selecting a top view make use of the command called as move move with respect to the corner A and reposition the corner A anywhere on the 30 degree line what we have drawn and then go for a command called as uh, rotate and then select A as the fixed point and M is going to be a rotating point rotate it with in such a way that it is a point or element and parallel to the line and then make use of a line command complete the front view by drawing the projectors from the right extreme corner now C has been selected as a right extreme corner and C to C is connected to C and D is going to be extended and also the corner M is also going to be extended then the next remaining right extreme corner is going to be B and B has to be projected to this location and now one can see that we are getting a point on element symbol which is a distraction for us and in such conditions we have to set the vertical angle as 90 degree and horizontal as 0 degree and connect the B to B properly and along with B we have E so let us connect the E also now again here once again we are getting an error so make use of 90 degree and connect it and A is on the XY line again we will lock the angle as 90 degree and A will be projected up to the XY line then make use of a text command name the respective corner this corner is going to be the a dash and this corner is going to be e dash and this corner is going to be d dash and this corner is going to be c dash as well as here we will be having m dash and then this is going to be the b dash then make use of a text command with respect to 0 0.5 mm as a thickness uh, starting with A dash connect to B dash then to C dash then to D dash then to E dash as well as A dash now 
this completes the given constructions as per the conditions and if you are having any doubts to solve this problem you can ask you can call me at this number and thanks for watching my video and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this videos to all the first year engineering students which will encourage me to do more and more videos thank you guys